Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a great uh, strategy game, uh, a NIM strategy game that I call the Peg and Chocolate game. And the aim of this game is obviously to win the chocolate. And if you know the strategy of how to win, then you'll always win the game against your opponent. And um, yeah, so. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you the game and then show you the strategy of how to win. So here we go, I'll, um, I'll just set up a little uh, sort of a, um, what would you call this thing over the chocolate with the pegs, a little uh, matrix I suppose, I don't know. So there's uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, I've got 14 pegs there. And what the object of the game is, is uh, the, the person who picks up the last peg wins the chocolate and you're only allowed to pick up one, two or three pegs um, uh, each, uh, each time that it's your go. So uh, I've got my uh, friend over here who I'm going to challenge and ready to go. So I'll go first and I'll select two pegs. And I'll get one. Okay, so I'll take, uh, now I'll take three pegs because I'm allowed to take one, two, or three pegs. I'll take two. And I'll take two pegs. And I'll take three. Two, three, and there we go. Um, there we go, I pick up the last peg, I pick up one, and the chocolate is mine. Uh, now I'm also gonna show you, um, I went first this time, so if you want to let your opponent go first, then I'll show you uh, how to do that as well. Okay, so I'll make a little. So it's the same, uh, the same rules. Obviously, your opponent might be a little bit upset that he's just missed out on the chocolate. But uh, so what we'll do is um, we'll put a stack there of twelve pegs and leave two to one side. And now it's my opponent's turn, turn to go first. Okay, I'll take one. Okay, so it's my turn now. I will take one, two, and three pegs. I'll take two. Okay, I'll take uh, two pegs as well. And, and I'll take three. Three pegs again. And there we go, I'm left with one peg to pick up. And I'm the last, uh, I pick up the last peg and that means that I win the chocolate again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is show you how the, uh, the simple strategy of how you can always win this chocolate. I'm now I'm gonna show you the simple strategy that you can use so you always win the chocolate at the peg and chocolate game. And to help you understand uh, the, this uh, simple strategy, I'm gonna break this, um, this tower of pegs down into uh, four groups. And there's three groups of four and one group of two. And if you remember, um, when I started first, I initially selected two pegs and that, and then it's my opponent's go, and the opponent's go, he uh, is left with uh, 12 pegs, and he can either take one, two, or three pegs. And so whatever, uh, whatever move the opponent takes, then I take um, enough extra pegs, so it adds to four. So if the opponent takes one, then I take three pegs like that, and then it's the opponent's go next, and then he's got, he's got eight pegs to select from, so he's got an even multiple of four, pegs to go f to uh, to select from. So in this case I think he took two pegs like that and then I was to take two and so that uh, two plus two equals four and that means that the opponent when he's next go he's got uh, four pegs uh, to select from and so whatever he chooses there whether it's one or it's two or it's three then I'm always going to win because um, then I will always pick the last peg because he can only select either one two or three pegs. So I think in this case he selected three pegs and there we go, I picked up the last peg which um, means that I won the chocolate. Now uh, and then the second uh, part of the, uh, the, the first bit of the video, um, then I let the opponent go first and if I let the opponent go first then the, uh, what you need, need to do is only have um, a multiple of four pegs. In this case, I've only got 12 pegs, and I had two pegs left uh, to one side. So what I'll do is I'll break those up into uh, three logical groups of, um, of uh, four pegs, and you can see um, 
and you can, oops, had a bit of trouble there, and you can see how how it works. So in this case, I'll let the uh, the opponent go first, and he picked up. Uh, he might have picked up one peg, I think. And so what I've got to do is I've got to pick an, up enough pegs, one, two, or three, to make up two, four pegs. And then he's the opponent to go again, and he's got eight pegs to choose from. And in this case, once again, he picked up two pegs, and then I picked up two pegs as well. So two plus two is four. And so that's the, uh, the strategy, is to make sure that whatever the opponent picks up, plus your pegs, always equals four. And then when it's the opponent's go next, He's uh, left with, uh, you know, four pegs um, to uh, choose from. And in this case, so whatever happens here again is um, his, uh, there is uh, four pegs and he can only choose one, two or three pegs. So whatever he chooses, I think he chose three, then, um, then I'll always pick up the last peg and always win the chocolate. So there we go. That's the uh, simple strategy to win the uh, peg and chocolate game and always win the chocolate. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you can try this out on your friends. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.